Module 1, Flood Impact and Cost in a Changing Climate. Introduction to the Session. Floods are among the most devastating consequences of climate change, and they are getting worse. The Climate Change Cluster of the Regional Resource Center for Asia and the Pacific of the Asian Institute of Technology, in collaboration with the Institute of Global Environmental Strategies, with funding support from the Ministry of the Environment of Japan, presents the e-learning module series for Flood S, a web-based flood simulation tool for adaptation planning developed by Hitachi Incorporated. The e-learning module is integrated in the Asia-Pacific Climate Change Adaptation Information Platform in establishing climate resilience across the region. The AP Plat consolidates information and resources such as the Flood S tool related to climate resilience in the Asia-Pacific region. In order to understand the development and technical know-how of the tool, the e-learning series comprises four modules that provide information, tool demonstrations, and case scenarios. The first module introduces how climate change has increased the frequency of floods and other natural weather-related events that we are witnessing globally. It will help us to understand the loss and damages, including loss of life from the flooding impact of intensified climate change and how it will cost communities in the coming decades, especially disadvantaged communities, which will likely bear the brunt of the losses. It will end by suggesting some robust mechanisms for developing appropriate planning, which brings it to the next module in using the Flood S tool. The second module discusses the tool's basic features, technical specifications, and access information, among others. It will demonstrate the use of the tool along with developing a sample simulation model and interpreting it. The session provides a comprehensive understanding of why Flood S should be considered in planning for climate adaptation. The third module provides a brief overview of flood-related climate adaptation planning. It will then demonstrate how the Flood S tool can be used to prepare adaptation planning with a real-life case presentation from one of the cities in Japan. There will be a case to provide flood scenarios in response to land use changes and suggest a community adaptation plan. The last module is a detailed case study providing better understanding of the capabilities of Flood S to local government units in the countryside that have the least access to flood simulation technology. A case study that provides an alternative scenario that helps the local communities. Now, let's start with Module 1. The main objectives of the Flood S e-learning Module 1 are to provide information on how floods recur, provide information about climate change and how it affects floods, present some case scenarios of the aftermath of floods, provide case scenarios and information on the growing threat of floods, and provide an overview of the efforts of the science community and government in providing comprehensive solutions for climate change adaptation, specifically focusing on flood simulation. Unleashing the Fury, how climate change amplifies flood. What is flood and what is the role of the changing climate? Introduction. Flooding, it's a word that elicits fear and concern in the hearts of people around the world. But what exactly is a flood? Well, a flood occurs when an overflow of water submerges land that is typically dry. It may be caused by heavy rain, snow melt, or even a dam failure. But here's the twist. As our climate continues to change, floods are becoming increasingly frequent and intense. And that's the reason why we are here, to understand its devastating impact on communities. As climate change sweeps across the globe, it brings with it a series of profound changes in weather patterns and precipitation. Rising temperatures lead to more moisture in the atmosphere, and this sets the stage for extreme rainfall events. The same amount of rain that used to fall over several days now falls in a matter of hours, overwhelming our drainage systems and causing catastrophic flooding. But how exactly does climate change intensify floods? Well, let us break it down for everyone's curiosity. Climate change has a significant impact on flood intensity and frequency. The increase in extreme events, such as heavy rainfall and intense storms, leads to higher risk of flooding. Shakuhai Far et al. 2022 evaluated the climate change scenarios. All climate projection, such as the RCP 4.5 and 8.5, significantly increases in all types of flooding categorized by its return period. The study highlighted the significantly increased peak flows to rivers that contributes to flash floods, expanding the claim of study conducted by Shaku Haifar et al. 2022. IPF, or the instantaneous peak flow, that is shown in the graph presented by the study represent the maximum discharge or flow rate of water a specific point in a river over a short period of time. Larger IPFs means faster and greater volumes of flood water. The graph shows that all peak events 
or in other words, flood forms significantly affected by climate change, give nearly 50% of the intensity measured in IPFs. Consequently, Ambu Mosi, 2012, stated that an increase in temperature has the potential to disrupt weather patterns, cause a rise in sea levels, and produce significant changes in the amount of precipitation. He also added that the world's population exposed to flooding can rise from 40 million to 150 million in the 2050s due to wider and intensified flooding. Rising temperatures not only lead to heavier rainfall, but also increase the rate of snowmelt in regions with colder climates. This massive influx of water often exceeds the capacity of rivers and streams, leading to rapid rises in water levels and subsequent flooding. It's like an overflowing cup that just can't handle any more liquid. On the other hand, climate change disrupted the hydrological events with lots of uncertainties that disrupt the design considerations of flood control infrastructures like dams. With heavy rainfall, dam capacity cannot withhold such intensified heavy rainfall discharge, resulting to quick release of water, or worse, the destruction of dam infrastructure. The statistics don't lie. Studies have shown a significant increase in the frequency and intensity of floods worldwide, all accounted for by our changing climate. These floods not only pose a direct threat to human lives and livelihoods, but also cause extensive damage to infrastructure, agriculture, and ecosystems. We must understand the urgency of addressing climate change before it engulfs us under its watery wrath. It's high time we realize that floods are no longer just natural disasters, but rather a wake-up call from Mother Nature herself. By neglecting the warnings and turning a blind eye to the impacts of climate change, we are endangering ourselves and future generations. It's time to act and work collectively to mitigate and adapt to these changing conditions. The Aftermath of Floods, an overview of its cost from human life to socioeconomic impact. Floods can occur anytime, anywhere, and can cause an unimaginable loss of life and property. The pouring rain and rising water levels can cause rivers to overflow, bringing catastrophic consequences. It's hard to wrap our heads around the number of lives lost due to floods. It's devastating to witness communities disappear in just a few hours. Furthermore, the aftermath of floods comes at a hefty price. The loss of life during the disaster and the aftermath takes toll on communities and individuals. Floods can happen suddenly and with little warning, leaving people with little to no time to evacuate and seek safety. Families getting displaced and separated, children losing their parents and homes turning into debris. It's a terrifying ordeal. The environmental effects of floods cannot be neglected either. The sudden overflow of water can cause soil erosion, leading to the loss of fertile land, and the water can contain hazardous waste that can contaminate the environment. Furthermore, the loss of flora and fauna during floods disrupts the balance of the ecosystem and affects animals' habitats. Apart from the human and environmental cost, the socioeconomic impact of floods is enormous. The displacement of families or individuals due to flood leads to a loss of property and assets, making their future a financially tough road to recover. When businesses are inundated with water, they suffer immense losses. The damage to goods, equipment, and properties can be catastrophic. Moreover, the ripple effect extends beyond the immediate aftermath. It disrupts the supply chain, causes job losses, and hampers economic growth. It leads to a massive economic burden on all the stakeholders, from the government taking relief measures to the citizens, rebuilding their homes and businesses. In fact, a staggering up to 5% of countries' annual GDP is exposed to river floods, amounting to 96 billion US dollars a value that could build adaptation infrastructures that can significantly reduce casualties. While it remains difficult to attribute any single disaster to climate change, there is clearly climate change imprint in many of the recent damages and losses in the Asia-Pacific region. These claims can observe with the recent catastrophic floods, first in Pakistan, which suffered from consecutive floodings in just five months from June to October in 2022 which estimated by the World Bank that the total damage exceeded 14.9 billion US dollars. Total economic losses that can reach 15.2 billion US dollars. The worst is 1,730 lost their lives, a portion of the 33 million people that were affected by the consecutive catastrophic events. On this, it requires an estimated 16.3 billion US dollars for rehabilitation and reconstruction's resilient approach. During the year 2010 to 2011, Pakistan faced 3,730 billion US dollars total damage caused by widely flood events that required an estimated 2,747 billion US dollars across sector, a staggering cost allocated for flood control measures. Furthermore, the Philippines, the country that annually facing disaster multiple times, suffered devastating loss of economic damage and lives during the typhoon Haiyan, with local name Yolanda, that happens on the 8th of November of the year 2013. 
the staggering 12.9 billion US dollars in economic damage and losses was recorded, roughly equivalent to 4.7% of the country's GDP in 2013, while 6,300 lives were lost due to the abrupt flood occurring from the storm surge and heavy rainfall. In 2011, the Global Facility for Disaster Reduction and Recovery estimates losses and damages during the Thailand floods, where it impacted heavily on the economy of the country, particularly on the private sector of manufacturing. It was recorded an estimated 46.5 billion US dollars damage, while recorded a 21 billion US dollars damage on physical assets, adding an economic activities loss with 26.5 billion US dollars that provided to occur from 2011 to 2013. An event that happens in just few days to weeks impacted the country's economic in three years. The future ahead after a flood is never the same again. The communities have to take long strides, implement new infrastructure, and train people to deal with disasters and not be blindsided when they appear. Governments around the world need to allocate the necessary funds and resources to rescue their citizens. While the threat of flooding may seem overwhelming, there's still hope. By joining forces, we can mitigate the impact and build resilience in our communities. This requires collaborative efforts from citizens, governments, urban planners, and private sectors. From implementing advanced flood management systems to raising awareness about climate change, it's crucial that we take action now for a safer future. International community FUDS providers, such as Asian Development Bank, Green Climate Fund, and others that provides platform for initiatives that can support climate change adaptation and mitigation. The effort of the scientific community and the government in flood simulation and climate change. The scientific community, in collaboration with government agencies, has made significant efforts in developing flood simulation tools to address the challenges posed by climate change. As a result of the series of capacity building, collaboration and partnerships, simulation tools are continually developed to understand more about flooding over an area. These simulation tools play a crucial role in predicting and mitigating the impacts of flooding events. One notable development is the creation of web-based tools that provide users with free and user-friendly access to flood simulation models. These tools enable individuals, communities, and even policymakers to better understand the potential risks associated with floods and make informed decisions regarding urban planning, infrastructure development, and disaster preparedness. The role of flood simulation, the Flood S, as a great simulation tool and its features. By offering intuitive interfaces and simplified workflows, these web-based simulation tools empower users with limited technical expertise to access valuable information about flood scenarios specific to their locations. This accessibility enhances public participation in climate change adaptation strategies by enabling stakeholders from diverse backgrounds to engage actively in decision-making processes. The Flood S web application offers an inexpensive way to analyze potential flood risk across many regions. By leveraging global terrain and rainfall data sets, Flood S can rapidly generate flood simulation and flood hazard maps without requiring extensive local data inputs, comparing to sophisticated flood models and simulator. It uses cloud computing technology with preloaded space digital elevation data from the internet. While the simulation may be less precise than costly and time-intensive hydrodynamic models, Flood S provides a major advantage in scoping out flood risk patterns across large areas very quickly and affordably. The speed and flexibility of Flood S tool makes it well-suited for initial assessment to identify flood-prone zones for further investigation. Additionally, Flood S has customized capabilities for adaptation planning needs. It can simulate flooding based on varying climate change scenarios and produce risk metrics tailored to disaster managers and urban planners. Users can adjust parameters to observe potential adaptation measures like levees, embankment, increased drainage capacity, and detention pond. The ease of use through the interactive web interface and the ability to export flood visualizations and data creates a tool readily transferable to local decision-making. Flood S democratized flood modeling by making initial flood risk assessments available to regions lacking funds or technical modeling resources. While detailed hydrological models remain necessary for major infrastructure decisions, Flood S provides an invaluable starting point for screening flood risk to support climate change preparedness across municipalities, districts, and communities. The tool empowers adaptation planning through affordable, wide area flood modeling. Furthermore, these free and user-friendly simulation tools foster collaboration between scientists, government agencies, and citizens. By providing a common platform for data sharing and analysis, they facilitate knowledge exchange on flood risk management strategies. 
This collaborative approach strengthens disaster resilience at both local and regional levels. In summary, the concerted efforts of the scientific community, along with support from governments, have resulted in the development of web-based flood simulation tools that are accessible and user-friendly. These tools not only can enhance our understanding of climate change impacts, but also promote active participation in decision-making processes aimed at mitigating flooding risks.